Anyways, we are back. I had panicked quit the, <laughs> the other day because uh, I realized there was an upstairs that had a bloodbath and I was like, mm, I don't, I don't know if I can, I can do this. So, uh, a reminder to myself to take it a room at a time and not a big picture. That is the best way to handle tiny rooms. So, put this out of the way. Pillars. Oh my gosh, these pillars. Put that down there. What we want to do is we want to clear out the crate room so we can get our crates out of our way. Go out. What are we? What are we doing? What are we doing here? Why are you informing your way? Body bags are so problematic. Telling you, alright, let's put it there. I phased myself right out of the map.
Okay. So I think my game plan is after I okay. Oh, it, it is a just a barely a fit. You aren't okay. Um, I think I'm going to. I'm not going to fully clean downstairs right away. I think I'm going to make my way upstairs and mop what I can to the uh, barrel storage and then work on clearing the barrel storage room so that way I can move stuff in and out of my way. So that's the biggest problem with the tiny rooms is that you're tripping over crates and barrels and you can't dispose of them because you want the points in case you F up want the bonus. I laugh so hard at my stacking on here and the fact that um, I play the game more often than not by not stacking. <laughs> if it was able to be picked up, it got burnt. It went away. See any signs? Edge.
Oh my gosh. If you could see my face right now. Brought this to get rid of any of the limbs.
Oh, for one second I thought there was a mop machine down there, but that's up in, up in machines. There's a bit of concentration I'm doing here. Bit of a change of pace where I'm kind of zoned out, but no, I am super focused. Apparently, I don't want to blow myself up. I'm trying to make it to that door right there. If I remember it, that's where the uh, barrel storage is. it at an awkward angle. Hey, fair. for right now. Yeah, I can see the barrel sign. Okay, okay, so that is where I am trying to make my way to. Right there.
ride down. I'm going to die. Once we're going to be able to start shifting through barrels and crates, I think it's going to go faster. But it's that first painful bit of trying to shuffle items out of your way that we're going through. Again, I'm warning you, I am not a neat stacker. I don't have the patience for it. Uh, it just it goes in the room as best as I can go. Uh, that I can do. <laughs> Pretty darn sturdy. what I wanted you to do at all, Mr. Bucket. When I want to pick up the bucket, I don't. When I don't want to pick up the bucket, I do.
I'm only doing a few buckets at a time, as you can see, I was tipping them over like crazy. I sort of knew I was going to, so I didn't want to bring up too many buckets. I just figured it would be disastrous. Such pain in my rear. Now the magic question is, see how there's this laser mark? Is this laser mark in this room or is it in the other room? I think he's suspicious it's in the other room. I have a sneaky suspicion. How many barrels there are compared to how much room there is. I have a sneaky, sneaky suspicion that only floaty barrels are going to fit. 
So, I think I'm gonna do myself a favor. Don't worry. Only have forty barrels. Everything else we are going to destroy. So we those in there for now. going to be more splody barrels. There's more barrels than there is room. So. Oh, there's the sign storage. Right there. I kind of figured he, in tiny rooms he always likes to do uh, sign storage because it's awkward. All right, floaty barrels. There you go. We're getting somewhere. sure with the way that there was broken glass on the floor. I was like, I would laugh so hard if I could chuck things outside.
Sorry, I got so quiet. I, uh, super concentration phase. I have to take it out, but for now. a huge chance I took <laughs> it's blowing myself up and uh, melting that that bag <laughs> I'd like to clear my way down to that bin down there. I can grab a bin for the little garbage. And I, I guess even if I'm wrong about the barrels that there's going to be, that there was enough room for all of them, uh, I guess I particularly don't care. I'm not going for perfect score. I just like to stack for the sake of stacking uh, since I went so long without stacking. Um, I've said it before, if it's easy for me to stack, easy-ish for me to stack, I will stack. If I have to work really, really hard, or if it just adds so much time to the game, then I don't want to stack. <laughs> and 
sometimes if you want to rhyme a reason to why I stack and I don't stack, really can't give you one. Thumbs on the moon. This building, is this building so unstable that it needed this many support pillars? It is shiny! But yeah, it's got all these damn support pillars right here. Or the chips and the plants. get one stuck like that like I just did uh, if you turn your camera in the opposite direction and then rapid click the left button which it resets it to its its uh, default position that should fix it uh, so it may harm you a little <laughs> Reluctant to get rid of this in case the graffiti comes out there. But I didn't see a uh, thunder. Doesn't mean that there's not one buried somewhere, but I didn't see one yet. And one of his tiny room maps, one of the earlier ones, you had to uh, fix graffiti, and the only uh, acid to be found on the map was what was on the map. And I hadn't realized that right away, and I accidentally destroyed a few, but I wasn't being super careful about it. And then when I saw the, when I came to the realization, I was okay because I had just enough graffiti, but I didn't want to ever put myself in that position again. Snap. 
here like we did with the other one. This floaty barrel, pack it over here. Okay. I swear, while I'm not looking, the floaty barrels are multiply multiplying. Like, ooh, she's not looking. Duplicate. here. I can't imagine trying to do this map as a multiplayer. You would kill each other constantly. Nobody would ever live. Everybody would be have broken backs. My toesies went to sleep. I am one of those people who uh, sit cross-legged in the chair and I sit on my feet. And then I'm like, oh, why is, why is my feet asleep? Well, I think we made pretty good progress. We are mostly done with the first floor. The worst of it, I think. And it'll be the second floor. I'm going to guess it's going to take me about five hours, maybe four hours. I think four hours is being generous. I don't know, it could go faster now. Uh, it's, it's actually not that. Well, you know what, nope, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna just say, I'm, I'm gonna go with five hours. I think it's gonna take me five hours. 
What are your guys' guess? Any, anybody anybody want to put any bets down on how long it'll take me? Oh my gosh, I'm not as far ahead as I thought. Maybe six hours. <laughs> are you exploding? No, you are a toxic. You are a toxic. That we're just gonna burn in an open fire. It's fine. And there's this room. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and I just tracked him for things. Uh, all right, all right, we're gonna stop here. Thank you guys for keeping me company. I will be back soon with more, I promise. <laughs>